Today I'm going to talk about my experience flying with Singapore Air Suites and also whether or not it is worth the money or mouse. In case you're not familiar, Singapore Airlines actually offers economy, premium economy, business class, and then first class or suites. Suites is Singapore Airlines' first class cabin in their A380 flights on selected destinations. And essentially you get what is a mini hotel room on board the plane with a reclining chair that also swivels around and even a fold-out bed. And as you expect from Singapore Airlines' best cabin class, you'll find plenty of space to store your stuff and a large 32-inch TV that also swivels around and even an own tablet to control the television. So it's obviously a very, very comfortable experience and there's just plenty of space that you do not get in economy or even in business class and you're free to do stupid things within your own space without disturbing other passengers or have anyone disturb you. Now having your own mini hotel room on board a flight is already pretty insane but if you book adjacent suites, which is what my friend and I did, you can actually bring down the divider in between the two rooms and create an even bigger space. And that's a really unique and luxurious traveling experience, which I obviously have not experienced in other classes, even in business class. If you want the same experience, make sure you book 1A and 2A or 1F and 2F because those are the rooms that can conjoin together. Want to take your own flight in suites? Subscribe to my Telegram group where you can get more tips and tricks on how to earn miles and use your mouse wisely as well as great deals on getting more miles when you sign up for credit cards. For a flight that was about 10 hours long like mine, sleeping is an important part of it and I've had the best nap I've had on a plane in suites because there was a proper bed, proper duvet and proper pillows. And it's not to say that business class flights are uncomfortable to sleep in but I think the whole concept of having a room and a proper bed make it easier for me to fall into a nap. In a previous video where I talked about my experience in business class, I used the word nice a lot and in suites it's definitely even nicer. As suites passengers, we got to skip quite a few lines and the first being the security clearance line and the airport that we were at, Auckland International, actually allowed us to be one of the first to be screened for security for boarding even though there was a huge line uh, that has already formed up and when it was time to board the plane, we were also one of the first few on board and once we were led to our little room, we realised there were a lot of things for us there were amenity kits, a uh, total of two of them as well as pyjamas, which uh, I think was the most comfortable experience of the entire flight and the toilet was extremely huge. So it is just an incredible experience the moment you bought it. And yeah, uh, in fact, my heart rate went up quite a bit. <laughs> this is what sweets will do to you. <laughs> and I'm blaming it on the champagne that they kept giving us. And yeah, I, I think it was just an incredible experience right from the boarding. And I'm just going to use incredible and insane a lot of times in this video. This video is brought to you by Weibo, which is giving you $2,500 of Tesla shares when you fund $100,000 and maintain it for one year. Alternatively, you can fund $2,000 and get $100 of Tesla shares if you maintain your funds until 31st March 2024. After you become an existing customer, you can also get up to $3,000 of free Tesla shares when you transfer in stocks from other brokers and you even get a subsidy of $200 to offset the fees you incur when you transfer your shares in. See the description box below for more details and thanks to Weibo for sponsoring my video. Singapore Airlines is known for their hospitable service and this was absolutely the case, especially in suites. Now, in economy, I think my experience with the flight attendants are pretty much hit or miss. There are some times where I felt it was like Clarence Diner, um, but other times it was serviceable. And in business class, they were obviously a lot more friendly. But the service in suites was absolutely excellent because there were only four of us seated in the cabin, but there were a total of four flight attendants. And yeah, I think they were some of the most experienced and senior flight attendants within the company. To justify his position above business class, Suites obviously had to do quite a few things better and service was definitely one of those things that was much nicer and incredible in Suites. And the service we received was nothing short of perfect in my opinion. In fact, I think they were a little bit too attentive and kept asking us whether we wanted more drinks, more snacks, more anything. But of course, there's always a do not disturb that you can press if you don't want that kind of fawning. Halfway through the flight, my friend's nose felt stuffy so he requested for something warm to drink and it gave him a full bowl of soup as well as a whole bottle of vapor rub and then more hot towels to make sure that he was feeling okay. The great service from the crew aside, it came down to little things like the fact that they kept giving us hot towels throughout the flight where in business class at best we got one or two and even things like the nuts they gave, uh, I realized that there were more variety and they even took the step to heat up the nuts which I did not uh, experience in business class. Talking about nuts, that brings us to drinks and food and unfortunately, I'm not a champagne person but that is one of the ways that Singapore Airlines tries to differentiate first class or suites from business class which is to have more expensive champagne. 
What I did like was the caviar, which is only served on first class and suites flights and not in business class. And even the prawn appetizer I had on suites was a lot nicer than the one I had in business class. Aside from the appetizers, I felt that the main causes were pretty much similar to the quality I had in business class and I didn't feel that it was better or worse. Yeah, and I think by the time the second meal came, it was quite apparent to us that there's only so much food we can take in a short period of time. So even if food was much better, there is a bit of a diminishing returns here because we just can't eat that much. Upon arrival in Singapore, we could also use the first class lounge as well as the private room, whereas business class passengers can't use the Silver Crease lounge anymore when they arrive in Singapore. In the private room, we can order food and drinks, but again, there's only so much food that we can take, so we end up with a little bit of Yisheng as well as some more lobster. But by this time, I think we were so full that uh, we couldn't really appreciate the food anymore. And this brings me to the question of whether or not sweets is worth paying for, either in cash or in miles. And I think I need to bring out this chart of diminishing returns. Now, there's no doubt in my mind that sweets is a very, very comfortable and luxurious way to travel. And it will be found this part of the chart. Any better, you will have to charter your own jet and charter your own weight stuff to make it an even better experience. But for most of us mere mortals, this is as good as it gets. But of course, I've yet to try the first class cabin of other airlines. Uh, but I do intend to do so. So subscribe for more updates on that. Business class, however, I feel is not that far from the top. And it exists in this place where I feel that it is actually good enough, followed by economy, uh, lower down on the scale, and budget, which is actually not that far away from economy. So is suites better than business class? Definitely, without a doubt, it is. But whether it's worth paying the premium for is a whole different question. And it boils down to how much each flight costs. For a one-way flight from Auckland to Singapore via suites, it costs $4,649, while a flight via business class is $2,724. For comparison's sake, the same flight in economy will be $766. When it comes to miles, it can cost 93,500 miles to redeem a suites flight from Auckland to Singapore, while it costs $68,500 for a business class flight. And for comparison's sake, economy is at 30,500 miles. That means that suites is about 1.4 times that of business class, which in turn is about 2.2 times of economy. Now, these numbers are assuming that you manage to find saver award tickets, which are quite easy to do for economy and business class. But when it comes to suites, all I could find were advantage awards, which meant that I actually spent 155,000, which is 2.2 times the price of the business class ticket. Given that this suites flight actually costs twice as much in terms of cash or in miles, is it actually worth it? I don't think so because suites is not twice as good as business class because of diminishing returns. Just like how we had a lot of food to eat on the suites flight as well as the private room, there came a point where additional amount of food actually did not increase our utility or pleasure anymore because we were simply too full. I think the same thing goes to the other good things that suites have. Right? When it comes to service, I find that business class service is actually good enough for me. And when it comes to comfort, it is also perfectly comfortable and you can sleep an entire flight on business class quite easily. Of course, if you are someone who's quite wealthy and the price differential doesn't actually bother you, then by all means go for suites. But for most of us mere mortals, I feel that suites can still be a once in a lifetime experience, especially if you use mouse to redeem for it. And to learn more about mouse, subscribe to my Telegram group because I have a lot of tips and tricks on how to get more mouse and how to redeem your mouse in a smarter manner. And I'm not quite done with this suites topic yet. Before you book your suites flight, there is one more important thing that you should know from me and you can stay updated via my Telegram group for that. And I'll see you in that content piece.